Hi everyone. So in the following video, we'll go over the details of how to customize your contact form. So as you see here, uh, we have the option of the default contact form, uh, which is offered within the Blanco template. And um, once you create your contact page, you can add some text here, an image, whatever you want to. But then you select a page template for a contact form. And here you can do some basic customizations, and then you choose your layout here. Um, so recently we've been having a lot of inquiries about how to change this contact form, how to create a different one. So first of all, what you'll need to do to create a new contact form is go to the plugins area and uh, install the contact form 7 plugin. Once you've installed that and activated, you'll then have a menu here where it says contact. And here you can create new contact forms. So let's go ahead and create a new contact form. And uh, as you see here, the default language will be in English, or you can select a language if that would be required. So we'll just keep it in English. So we'll create Add New. Here we'll add the title of our new contact form. And let's go ahead and click on Save. All right, so here we have our new contact form just generated. All right, so anytime we want to make an update to your contact form, what you'll need to do is just copy this contact form code, go to our contact page, make sure that you are in text mode, and paste this code here. Then you'll need to select the page template back to default, and then you click on update. All right, so let's go back to our website. We'll refresh it. And here you see that we have the same contact page, but now we have a different contact form. All right, so now we can go ahead and start doing the customizations to it. Now that we've added this contact form code, we can just move this tab here. And we can start customizing our contact form. So first of all, what we have here is we have name, email, subject, and we have your message. These are the very basics in um, these are included into every contact form by default. So let's just say you want to add um, a new text field uh, under email. All right. So what we'll need to do is go here, click on Generate Tag, and we add text field. All right. So this could be we'll title this as text field number one. Oops. Text number one, we'll click tab, and now we have a generated form. All right, so here, what we'll do to create the title of our contact field or our form field, we'll take this now, copy it, paste here, and this will be text number one. All right, next off, uh, we have this brown field here, which needs to be copied and pasted into the form on the left. So we'll copy paste this right over here. Now you can make this field a required if that would be necessary. So if we have a required field, you just select that checkbox. Once again, you copy and paste this into this field here. All right. So now what we'll need to do is add our um, text field into this area. So it'll be right above our subject. So this could be text number one. And we'll copy and paste this over here to make sure that this field comes up when we receive our emails. All right, so um, yeah, let's just go ahead and click on save. We'll go here, we'll refresh our page. All right, so here we have text field number one. It is a required field. And we can go ahead and submit our contact form. All right, so this is how you add additional fields. Now, these fields could be anything. They could be wedding dates. They can be your venues, um, number of guests per wedding, whatever it may be. You can add that there. All right, so let's generate another, um, another field. Next off, uh, we're going to 
generate a, um, a drop down menu. All right, so this will be our drop down menu. Um, this will not be a required field. So we'll just take this here, copy, paste it here, take the title, paste it here, so the drop down menu, and then we need to take this field, copy, paste it into the left hand side. All right, so now we have the drop down menu. For the drop down menu, um, we need to add several choices. So let's go ahead and add choices one, choices two, and choices three. All right, so we want to have a blank option at first. Okay, so here we have this form already updated. So once again, we'll need to copy and paste this here, just like that. Good to go. So let's take this drop down menu. We'll add it to our email. Copy and paste this into the bottom field. All right, now that this is added, let's click on Save Menu. We'll go here to our website, refresh it. Now we have our drop down menu. So here we can select choices one, two, three, etc. All right. Uh, next off, we can create um, radio buttons or check boxes if that would be required. Um, both follow the same type of principle, so let's just go ahead and create radio buttons. This will be radio buttons. Once again, our choices will be button one, button two, and button three. All right, so here we have these options. So let's go ahead and copy this title here. And that, add the radio buttons field. And you take this code it here. Once again, copy the radio buttons to receive this within our emails. And we'll add this here. All right, all of our choices are there. Now let's go ahead and click on save. Go here, refresh our page. Okay, and so here we have the options. All right, so let's go ahead and um, just do a test email. And so we'll type in our name, Vivadim. Email address will be info at flowthemes.com. Text number one, subject, just a random text. Within the drop-down menu, we'll select choices two, button three, and for our message, I'll use some dummy text. All right, so let's go ahead and send this email. And I'll go to my email box. And here I have the email. So as you see here, from info at flow themes, Text field number one, we have the subject, we have drop down menu choices two, radio buttons number three, message here. Um, if I want to click on reply, it'll go to info at flowthemes.com so you can reply directly to that person. All right, so uh, next off within the contact form, you can do some basic customizations here. Uh, for example, like have having your message, customizing your message, thank your message was sent successfully or we'll get back to you shortly, um, etc. So you can add and customize these areas here. But um, yeah, this is the basic overview of the contact form seven. And um, 
yeah, you're more than welcome to go ahead to contactform7.com, check them out, and um, research it some more if that would be required. But uh, we do hope this video helps, and thank you for watching.